Okay, so everybody, make sure we are on mute right now. Go ahead and mute out. And um, make sure that if you got to go somewhere or you have to do anything, if you go to the bathroom, whatever, make sure you turn your video off if you do have video or everybody will see you and they will be like, what's going on? Okay, so make sure you do that. Um, we're going to save all questions for the end of the webinar. And if you have any questions, I definitely want to answer them. So please, 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 please write them down so that I can answer your questions, questions, questions. All righty. So um, if, if you, I need a few people just to tell me, can you see me? Can you hear me? And can you see the screen? If you can, just come off mute and say yes for me. I can. Okay, great. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Thank you, Anita. Anita, let me know. She put it in the chat. Um, you guys can actually put your questions in the chat box. Um, if you look there, you don't have to like write them down. I totally forgot. Thank you, Anita. Um, put your questions in the chat box. And as we go, if I can expound on it where we are, I will. And if I need to wait, then I will as well. Okay. So the chat box is open um, for you to just fire away. And if I don't get them all at the, at the beginning, I will get them at the end, okay? So 81 ways to lose weight and tone. I decided to do this webinar because I have a lot of people who are either getting ready for Mardi Gras situations, spring break, because spring break is actually 10 weeks away, um, about 10 weeks. And then summer is even closer. Not sure what mobile weather is gonna do, but anyway, um, I wanted to give you guys and kind of give you guys an idea and brain dump on you um, what ways maybe you haven't thought about that you can lose weight and tone. I'm not saying do all of these because they will be completely overwhelming, but I just want to give you a list that you can say, I can incorporate this one thing a day. Because if you incorporate one thing a day, you will be successful. So success is making a whole bunch of good decisions and it culminating to one large goal that you did. It. It's just one little small steps. And then we have failure. Failure is having an error in judgment over and over again, over a certain amount of time and then failing. So neither one of those happen overnight. All of them happen over time. So we want to make sure we decide, am I going to make small errors in judgment or am I going to make small success steps to get to my ultimate goal? So just pick one of these, a few, and you can probably implement them in your life. Okay. All righty. So um, here we go. So number one, meal prep. If you don't meal prep already, you got to meal prep. Meal prep is the keys to success. If you don't know how to meal prep, I wrote a really, really good book about it. It is meal prepping for people who travel, for people who are busy, college students. It's um, a whole bunch of different where um, a whole bunch of different resources there. And the book is actually um, in the the challenge page that I'll show you. And it's also on the Rock Paper Fitness page. It's rockpaperfitness.net, and it's called the Ultimate Meal Prep Solution. And I think right now it's like $9.99 or $4.99, $5.99 or something like that. But it is really a gem. And it took me a really long time to write it. It shows you how to smoothie prep. It shows you how to save money. And it is really, really a good resource. So um, make sure you head over there and grab your download. And you can just download that to your phone, print it out. Anita prints everything out, print it out, put it in a binder, and you'll have that, okay? Meal prepping. Next, cut out soda. Hey, soda. Soda right there, 10 pounds. If you cut out soda this week, uh, I have seen, I have a client who literally lost 10 pounds in a week off of just cutting out soda. Soda keeps the weight on you, all of that extra sugar. Next, cut out candy. Hello, that's another 10. You're 20 pounds down and you didn't even have to do that much, okay? Next. Cut out bread. I wish I had the emoji eyes to look to the side. Some of y'all are still going hard on the bread. Cut that bread out, especially that white bread. I know the rolls. I know old Charlie's rolls. I know. 
cut that out, cut it out, okay? You don't have to have it every single day. The white bunny bread, if you're still eating the bunny bread, I'm going to get this side out anyway. Cut out that bread. That's number four. Number five, cut out dairy, okay? So I know cheese, I know milk, I know. Um, the reason why I say that is 97 97% of African Americans are allergic to dairy. And the way that we know that a lot of us develop rashes or eczema or really, really bad indigestion or really bad gas, that's an indicator that we don't have the right enzymes to break down dairy. And that just normally like locks a lot of us up and it, it just causes real issues. And I know it's hard to cut it out. I know, I know, I know. But that may be one thing that you want to cut out in order to lose those pounds. Next, lift weights. A lot of women have the misconception that they don't need to lift weights because they will look like a man. Hunty, you're not going to look like a man. If you lift weights, I need you to get in the chat right now and I say, I need you to say me. If you lift weights, it actually helps you to round out the muscles and get the toning that you are looking for. You do not get toning from running. You don't get toning from walking or whatever. You get toning that look, Michelle Obama gets those arms, Angela Bassett gets those arms from lifting weights. Yes, yes, yes. And, and that's the keys right there. Um, if you are not muted out, please mute yourself out for me. Um, so you want to lift weights. You're not going to look like a man at all. Yep, you just got to lift. You got it, Tiff. You got it. Um, lifting weights will help you to... Lifting weights will help you to burn more calories when you are sitting down at your desk. If you have a desk job, I need you to say me, Okay. If you have a desk job, I need you to say me. Me, 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 me. All right, let me make sure everybody is muted. Okay. Um, if you have a desk job, hey, this is what you need to do. Lifting weights burns calories 24 to 48 hours after you stop lifting weights. 24 to 48 hours. Whereas if you just get on a treadmill or a bike, or a elliptical machine, you're only burning calories up to like two hours after you finish. I don't know about you, but when I get in the bed tonight, I want to be burning calories, okay? I don't want that, I don't want it to just stop. And that's why lifting weights is key. Lifting weights will give you the look that you want. That is toning, you guys, that is toning, okay? Next, make sure. Next. I want you to target your problem areas, target what you want. So if you look in the chat, Anita was talking about how her arms are getting cut. Arms was something that Anita really wanted to focus on. And the good thing about arms and legs is that, yes, it is very, uh, your diet is key, but you really want to like lift the weights so that when the fat comes off, they are nice and round and looking how you want. Target those problem areas. If you know you want a big, big butt and you know you want to be round and lifted up to the gods do some squats get on a on an in, uh, indoor cycle and crank up that resistance you want to do some ham some hamstring work you want to lift weights all of that okay but i want you to target those problem areas so um right now i want you to tell me in the chat box what are your problem areas so this summer, you're like, I want my X, Y, Z to look really good, okay? Some people say shoulders. Some people want really, really um, like some amazing shoulders. I have a client who loves shoulders. So that means you would train that area, okay? You want abs? Abs are made in the what? What, berries? In the kitchen. Abs are made in the kitchen. Uh-oh. Hold on. Somebody, um, uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me get you back. Well, somebody is, all right, erase my screen off, okay. <laughs> all righty, so midsection um, definitely is um, for, is, is, is diet. Okay, y'all got me off track with this, with this right now. I don't know what that was. Um, let me see, okay, so we got it. All right, next. 
Um, make sure you are using HIT training, okay? That is high intensity interval training. HIT training is like circuit training. Um, high intensity interval training is like going hard, 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 then rest. Hard, 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 then rest. Hard, 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 then rest, okay? So if you're doing battle roping, you'll battle rope for 20 seconds or 30 seconds, and then you'll rest. If you are on the treadmill, you'll go for a minute, and then you'll rest for 30 seconds. HIIT training actually burns more calories than long distance running, okay? So if you're like, I like to run six miles um, a day, well, how about we do just three miles and we use a HIIT method of training, okay? So one of my favorite methods is Tabata training, and you can um, grab that app off of your app store. It's black and red, and you just put in a time of work and then a time of rest, okay? Another great app is, um, is Fit Radio. They actually have a, a place where you can adjust the beats per minute so you can rock, walk or run to the beats per minute. But they also have a timer where you can set how long you want to work out and then how long you want your rest to be. So, y'all, I don't want you to see you every day doing this long, drawn-out workout, just walking or running or whatever. Use the HIT method, okay? Next, use my fitness pal. My fitness pal snatch your soul out, and it will help you to understand why you are not losing weight. And it will also show you how much you are eating. If you are honest about it, hey, it will be key, okay? Make sure you're honest and use my fitness pal. That is in your, your Play Store. If you have my fitness pal, let me know. Drop that in the um, chat box. Use an activity tracker. Some people have polar heart rate monitors. Some people have the Adidas heart rate monitor, the TomTom. Um, monitor activity tracker. Some people have Fitbit. Some people use the one that they got off of Groupon, but use something to track your activity. And what I love about this is that it actually shows you the accurate numbers according to your heart rate, how many calories you actually burn, okay? So um, an activity tracker that you put on your body will oh no problem patricia i have to do one i have to do my fitness pal webinar because i have to really i can show you guys some more on that but using an activity tracker will show you if you are working out like you are supposed to be working out in my fitness pal it may say 60 minutes of cycling you burn 574 calories but in actuality, if you look at your activity tracker, it may only have been 350 calories. You got to know that. Why? Because you'll end up eating too much and you're like, I have 600 calories left on my diet. No, you don't. You need an activity tracker. So if you don't have that, it doesn't matter how, expens how expensive or cheap it is, got to get one, guys. Next, make a vision board. Do you guys make vision boards? Yes or no? Do you? If you don't have a vision board, you got to get one. Um, and vision boards, I think, work best when you, uh, when you, when you um, kind of couple them with one subject. So if you have a fitness vision board, if you have a financial vision board, if you have a relationship vision board, if you have a, a living, exp uh, living vision board, right? But you want a vision board that has one thing on it, okay? Because you know when you sit down with that poster board, you just are all over the place. But if I can get you to really focus down on your vision for your health and fitness, then that will be key, okay? Next, make a, mo make a motivational vision board and set it as your home screen. So the way you do that, y'all, and this is my favorite thing to do, I'm gonna show you on my phone. My favorite thing to do is go to Pinterest. Who, who uses Pinterest? Do you use Pinterest? Pinterest? Y'all, I'm a Pinterest girl to the heart. I probably have 100 pin boards. Y'all, Y'all, this is really actually ridiculous. So I have so many boards. And I have like my 2016, 2017 dream board. So my challenge to you would be to get do a fitness dream board. And on the dream board, um, do like quotes, do pictures. I have one that's a photo shoot, a fitness photo shoot idea. But 
take like four to six of your favorite pictures off of Pinterest, download those pictures and put it into um, like Instagram layout or um, pick stitch, something like this, right? Um, and you can make your own vision board. So I'm just gonna snag some stuff right quick and I'm gonna show you what that will look like. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, so this is kind of how it will look. So it'll have like four pictures or five or six pictures. And then you set it as your home screen. So I don't know if you can see, but my home screen is there, okay? So you definitely want to do that. Make sure you set that as your home screen. And the reason why I say set that as your home screen, that is because you got to see it every single day. You got to be motivated every single day. That is the keys, the keys, the keys, okay? Next, take your progress pictures. Hello. Y'all know how I feel about progress pictures now. Do you take your progress pictures? I want to know that. Do you do that? Take your progress pictures. Take a picture of your before picture. Take it as a sports bra and the shorts. I don't want to see these. Don't take them right. You got to see where you are to see where you're going. I don't care how your feelings don't get hurt. I don't care. Nobody has to see your pictures. But I'm going to say this. Sometimes the number on the scale is not what you want it to be. The number on the scale will move, but sometimes it's not what you want to be. And you need to see some solid proof as to what's going on in your body. You can lose 10 pounds and it look phenomenal, but because you don't think 10 pounds is good enough, you will quit and go on about your business. But, but, but if you lose 10 pounds and you look at this picture and you're like, oh my gosh, none of my clothes are fitting. That's progress. Okay. That is progress. Yes. Come on, you got to see the different results. Next, create specific goals and not general ones. Don't say, I'm going to work out next week. I'm going to drink water. I'm going to tone my body. I'm going to um, get this midsection together. I'm going to eat right. What does that mean? What does that mean? Nobody knows what that means. That's like when a kid says, I'm going to be good. And you're like, well, what is good? Does that mean you're going to be obedient to me every day? Does that mean you're going to do your homework? Does that mean you're going to listen to the teacher every day? Does that mean that you are not going to get into fights? What in the world does that mean? So specific goals is like saying, how are you doing? Good. Um, what is good defined as? Is good defined as you were successful or what? So create specific goals. Right now, I want you to type in what are your specific goals? So I can know, so I can go over that at the end. Next. Vary your workout. You want to mix up your workouts. Drink half your body weight in ounces of water. If you're super active, you need to drink even more than that. So if you're 200 pounds, you need to drink at least 100 ounces of water per day. That's a little less than a gallon. Detox twice a month, okay? My suggestion, you can go on a liquid detox. You can do magnesium citrate. Um, you can do smoothies, whatever, but detox twice a month so that your bowels can be open, all right? Next, find a partner. Find a partner to work out with, okay? Come on, Marcia, we got it, boo. Find a partner to work out with. I know it's freaking hard. Anybody ever had a, a problem with that? You're like, where are the people to work out with? Anybody had a problem? But do your best to try to find a partner. Next, use social media as accountability for yourself and um, for others. So when I post video or videos or pictures, I post them so that I know what I'm able to do, okay? I know that if I post something about working out, that, that people are gonna be looking at that and I have to do it. That's accountability for me. And you also can use accountability for other people. So when you posting your goals, that makes people like, oh snap, I need to get my goals together. Next. Determine your why and get emotional about it. Why, why do you want to look the way you want to look? Why? Come on. Yes. Come on, Tiffany. We're going to have them arms out, boo. Them arms going to be out by June, boo. Mm -mm. Sleeveless. Anita, tell Tiffany. Didn't we get you together? Anita got her arms out, honey. 
Tiffany, and if you have never seen uh, pictures of Anita, Anita is every sorts and types of amazing. And um, arms are her thing, but she really got it together. Um, so, uh, what else? So, so, use social as your accountability. Determine your why and get emotional about it, okay? You got to put your emotions into it. You got to feel it. Cut out fried foods. Hello. Look, no serial cheating. And I say serial cheating, like people who are like serial monogamous, they're like with one person, but like over time, they're with one person, like, but a lot. So cut out your fried foods. A lot of people say, I only eat fried foods once a week. Well, if your significant other cheated on you, what, cheated on you once a week, would you still consider that cheating and would it be a problem? Probably. You'd be like, that's a problem that you're cheating on me. So cut out fried foods and um, don't do it so much, okay? Track your weight often, um, at least once or twice a week. I do it every day because weight doesn't bother me, but track your weight often. I like to see it every day. Um, so I can see the fluctuations. Next, join a community if you can, um, a community of people who will, do, who will, who will um, support you and love you and give you information and motivate you and also convict you when you're not together. Um, so at the end of this, you will have an opportunity to join my community and um, it is going to be pretty phenomenal. Um, next, exfoliate your skin. So if you have issues with um, cellulite, Make sure you are exfoliating that area, okay, often, um, and making sure you keep that, that area moisturized, okay? Next, get a massage. Massages can also help with the visibility of cellulite. So a lot of people want to tone, right? A lot of people want to tone, exfoliate your skin, massage that area, get a professional massage, and it can actually help to break up that fat so that it can move around a little bit better, drink your water and it will get, you know, it can just flush on out your body. So get that massage, exfoliate your skin. And if you have questions about massage therapists, I have a really, really great one here in Mobile. Next, get proper sleep. Now there's a time frame called um, money, it's like money time. So that's between nine and two. Basically, if you, if you sleep that during that time, it feels like you are sleeping more hours than if you sleep later, okay? So you wanna get proper sleep. And so for example, when you are trying to accomplish something, even if you do a good thing at the wrong time, you will get wrong results, right? So um, if, I give, if I get a million dollars and I give a million dollars to a person that I think is homeless or needs it, that is that may be or that may be a good thing that i did from my heart but if that person is not money savvy none of us are getting anything out of it okay but if i keep my money and i wait and i grow it so i still have some and then i get to give it to somebody who knows what's going on then i get more success so you want to sleep at the right time it's not enough to just sleep at 2 a.m right you need to get to sleep at nine, nine to 10 o'clock, there's that window there, okay? Next, this one, you guys, keys, keys, meditate. Meditate is not creep, meditation is not creepy, it's not just Buddhist, Krishna, Shinto, all of that, it's not. You can go on YouTube, iTunes, or Spotify, type in guided meditation for deep sleep. And let me tell you, if you do it, your quality of sleep will get so much better that it will scare you how refreshed you feel in the morning. Sleep will help you burn fat. Sleep will help your cortisol levels to lower, which means you will not hold fat as bad in those parts. We don't want to hold it. Hello. That's why some of y'all got those punches in the front, okay? It's because you don't sleep. That is your sleep hanging out. That's Come on, get some sleep. Next. Get a trainer so they can, so they can kind of tell you what to do, um, so that they can give you a, a plan. Okay, a plan is key. Get you a trainer. Next, hang up a swimsuit or piece of clothing where you can see it, so that it can motivate you every day to keep going. And especially if you have something that that doesn't fit, put hang that next to your door. Hang that on the back of your your bathroom door and say, "Oh, I got to get into that." And I'm just going to show you guys. I'm serious. My swimsuit is in my bag, okay? 
My swimsuit is in my bag. Look how small, y'all. Look at the front of this. Y'all, I, I got to lose weight because I feel like my girl parts got to lose weight too, okay? So this is my bikini that I want to fit in and, and you got to get that together. So go get you one to fit in, all right? Next, create variety in your food. Um, focus, 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 focus. The thing you focus on is the thing that's going to be magnified. It's the thing that, you're, that your body and your mind is going to bring to you. We have the reticular activating system in our brain that basically conspires with our body, with the universe to make it happen. If you focus on being broke, if you focus on not getting in school, if you focus on bad grades, if you focus on, on weight gain, if you focus on being fat or having a muffin top or bat wings or whatever, guess what? You will get that, the thing that you are focusing on. So like Marcia said, mindfulness, you gotta be mindful of what you're focusing on. If you wanna tone and lose weight this season, you absolutely can do it. But you gotta say, I'm doing this and I'm focusing. Next develop a plan for failure. If you don't know what the heck you're gonna do, if you have a cheat day, or if you don't get to the gym, you're gonna be looking crazy, okay? De develop a plan for failure. Next, journal your frustrations, okay? If you are feeling like you can't eat anything, and you feel depressed, journal it. That is actually a method of weight loss, journaling your progress, journaling your mood, but, but going more in depth, not just writing down your food, but talking about how you feel, how you can overcome it and everything. So if you're a journaler, this may be a key for you to weight loss. Understand how to tone. And I'm really big about education. My clients will tell you, I tell them why, um, I tell them why why they are doing certain exercises. And I actually tell them how to get the most out of their exercises. And I tell them what muscles, I don't care if they're not fitness people. I feel like everybody needs to know why they are doing something. Okay, so understand how to tone. So a question just came up. Um, any ideas for variety of foods or variety in foods? Actually, um, if you're a picky eater, you're probably going to be picky and it's going to be as simple as you just like going out there and trying different stuff. Um, for variety, you just, just pick another food. I mean, there's some things that are like green foods that I would say just like type it in, you know, type it into Google. But in my, um, I do have some books out there that show you different types of foods, okay? So um, it'll show you like different types of fruits, different types of vegetables, different types of proteins, just options. So that you could do the chicken, the fish, you could do shrimp if you want duck, if you want tofu, if you want, you know, almonds for protein, beans. And so there are so many different options. If you have a more specific question as far as um, ideas for variety, I would, I can definitely answer that for you. Okay. Um, next, use supplements to assist your goals. If you know you're having a lack in a certain nutrient, you got to do that. Multivitamin, always suggested. Protein supplement, ISO 100, number one, key to success. I suggest that um, if you are not getting your healthy fats in, cod liver oil is the keys. Um, that helps your, your, your um, knees and your joints to stay lubricated. Um, that is the key. Please, please, please start taking your multivitamins, okay? Um, glucosamine, really good for the joints as well. Um, turmeric, keys to success for if you have arthritis or issues with your, your any joints uh, will really help you to become more limber and not be in so much pain. Next, hit the streets, work out outside. You don't have to work out inside all the time, okay? Drink green tea. Green tea is a natural um, thermogenic, which helps your core temperature in your body to, to rise so that when you work out, you can burn more calories as you are working out. And that's what we want ultimately, right? We want to burn more calories. So you could just drink plain green tea, not lifting, brew your green tea, plain green tea, drink that and you will find yourself sweating all over the place. Next, black coffee. Black coffee, 
one of the same things, but black coffee will help you go to the bathroom. Um, yes. Okay. Yes, Patricia. Oh, we were talking about probiotics too. Black coffee is a, um, will help you get rid of water weight, which is the same thing as green tea. Black coffee will also activate the bowels, will help you go to the bathroom, number two. And it also, the caffeine in it will give you kind of a boost that you'll need to get through a good workout. Um, Patricia, you want to drop your name of your vitamin in the chat box? That'd be fantastic. Um, plan one cheat meal per week, not a day, not, not a whole cheat day. So when I say one cheat meal, if that is a half a Snickers bar, if that is Fusaklis, if that is um, a cheesecake, whatever, plan it though. Don't just let, don't just let the cheat meal come to you. Plan that bad boy, okay? All right, Marcia, you're out of control. One cheat meal, Marcia. Y'all, was Marcia's birthday and she out of control. A bread, adult beverages, okay? Next, motivate others more than yourself. So one thing I learned when I kind of dealt with a small touch of depression is that if I could think outside of myself and consider what other people are going through, then I can get through my day. So I want you to think about motivating others on social media, especially, and in your life to get their life and to be more healthy, right? Um, if you can motivate people three times out the, out the week or out the day, you don't know how that changes people's lives. And um, I know I talk about Anita a lot, and that's just because we talk back and forth, but Anita posts about her struggles, she posts about her success in fitness, and she actually gets inboxes from people who are like, oh my gosh, if it wasn't for you, I don't think I would have been that motivated, but you have motivated me to live a healthier life. How awesome would that be if you just helped somebody to be more mindful and help them to understand how valuable their life is? So I wanna challenge you to that. Next, tra tra uh, start a transformation blog where you post your pictures, your experiences, recipes, um, and your progress there. Create a YouTube channel, right? Um, you know, if you're an artsy person and you always want to do it, what, what better time than to do it now? Create a YouTube channel about your experience. Um, next, so we're going halfway. If it fits in your macros, I'm not going to go into that too much, but you can kind of research that. Or if you get into my, um, my ongoing coaching group, I will be talking about um, if it fits in your macros, which is a flexible diet, dieting program. Next, um, Three, doing a three-day detox. I do a three-day detox inside of my body and also a three-day skin detox where I detox from the outside, okay? So I pull the toxins out of my skin and then I pull the toxins out from the inside. So you wanna do that three-day detox and that is in my detox book. You can get that off of rockpaperfitness.net um, and you can also get it off of, you can write this down, bit.ly slash boss body challenge boss body challenge bit.ly slash boss body challenge and it's only like 4.99 it gives you the book actually gives you like a whole list of stuff on why you why you would be why you would be bloated okay and so if you ever deal with bloating you need to get this guide because of the recipes in it and also the the tips on you like picking out why am i bloated right so a lot of you are going to different places or if you have to go out on a beach or you're taking a photo shoot or you got to get in a dress, you need that book so that you can start taking out those little um, bloating pieces and you can get those that flat tummy, okay? Because you might be bloated and you don't know why. And I gave you, I give you so much information on why. Um, next, use a sweat belt and Albaline or Sweet Sweat. You can get Albaline from CVS. Um, it's basically what boxers use um, to put on their bodies to sweat so that they lose water weight and they can weigh in at a lighter weight. So use that, put it all over your mint section, grab a sweat belt. You can get that from Walmart, super duper cheap. And that will help pull the water from your um, skin from the outside and help give you a, a visibly flatter tummy and a more um, moisturized skin. So check that out i love to do that especially when i'm getting ready for an event okay because ladies you know if you could just get one or two inches off of that midsection you'll be in the game right this can help you out a lot with this so 
make sure you write that 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 um that link down bit.ly slash boss body challenge at the bottom you will see all the books that i'm talking about and i'm telling you like they are really really valuable um next use the sauna for water weight pulling like i talked about at the beginning make sure you eat often don't just eat once a day don't just eat like every other day make sure you eat often when you don't eat often it slows your metabolism down and your body actually holds on to those calories as energy because it doesn't think it's going to get any more which sets you back you don't lose the weight you need next do fasting cardio fasting cardio is basically in the morning you would do you would do 30 minutes or an hour of walking not vigorous workouts but that helps you to use fat as energy when you wake up in the morning okay so fasting cardio helps you get closer to what we call ketosis next try intermittent fasting intermittent fasting is basically only eating between a certain uh certain hour so from 8 to 8 10 to 10 12 to 12 or in an eight hour period 12 hour period 10 hour period and the rest of the time you don't eat so if you pick let's just say i'm gonna i'm gonna eat from nine to nine okay pick that i'm gonna eat from seven to seven or i'm gonna eat from seven to ten or i'm gonna eat from ten to six so you just pick eight ten or twelve hours that you will actually eat in the rest of the time you don't a lot of people lose weight off of this they eat whatever they want pretty much and then they don't eat for that time frame next do plyometrics so that's that's um jump squats box box jumps all of that stuff um plyometrics sprints um check out the keto diet write that down you can kind of look at that if your body is all good check with your doc your doctor first but keto diet is basically you depleting your whole body of carbohydrate stores not whole but some of it of carbohydrate stores so that you can use fat for energy and you can burn fat instead of burning carbs so your body does not burn does not burn all calories at once okay so first it burns your carbs then it burns your your fat then it burns your muscles if you if you don't have your diet together and you're eating too many carbohydrates too many sugars you won't ever get to fat burn that's why some of you guys are not getting the results you want your body is constantly staying in burning car burning those carbohydrates burning those sugars a because you don't exercise enough to get those carbohydrates out but B, you eat too many carbohydrates or you don't eat enough so your body holds on to everything as carbohydrate. Next, compound movements with weight, okay? So doing a squat and then pressing over the head, okay? Push press, um, a burpee. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna say the B word, but compound movements with weight. Um, like I said before, 24 to 48 hours, you get that afterburn. Next, make sure you rest, rest, Resting is not always sleeping. Sit down and relax sometimes, you guys. Apple cider vinegar. You got to use the apple cider vinegar and the honey um, and the lemon, how the bottle tells you to do it, okay? That levels out your blood sugar and curbs cravings. When you level out your blood sugar, that helps you not to gain weight in the midsection and in the core. You got to get the Bragg's apple cider vinegar and then the recipe is on the bottle, okay? Bragg's. Recipe on bottle. You don't, have to, you don't have to look up the recipe. It's on the bottle if you buy the correct one. Prebiotics. Patricia was talking about probiotics, but some of you guys need prebiotics, which basically grows the good bacteria in your stomach so, you can, so that you can uptake the food. Okay, prebiotics. Then you have probiotics, which helps you to actually use the food that you have in your body, okay? So some people... Um, basically eat and get no nutrients from it because you don't have good enzymes in your body to have that. So check out pre and probiotics. Your doctor probably can tell you if you need that, or you can purchase a, um, a multivitamin, which has those. Um, if you think about prebiotics and probiotics, Kefir, some of like Activia has pre and probiotics. A lot of people do find weight loss from that. Almost done. Eat less sugar. That includes that includes, that includes your um, fruit. You should really only be eating a half a cup of fruit at once, um, maybe throughout the whole day, like a cup, one. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but we just really and truly overeat on fruit. And if we eat too much 
carbs and too much sugar, our body stores that as energy and we are not getting to that fat burn and we start gaining weight, you guys. So yeah, you can definitely be gaining weight from those smoothies. You can be gaining weight from eating too many grapes, from eating too many um, carrots. We don't really need that much. We just need to eat in moderation, okay? Next, number two, number 58. Use the bathroom. If you don't use it, you ain't losing it, okay? Use the bathroom. That is one of the ways that, that waste gets out of our body. We number two, we, no, we number two, <laughs> we number one, and we also breathe, okay? So the toxins and the water comes out through our stool and our urine, and then carbon dioxide comes out through breathing. Did you know that? So, so the fat molecules, they break up, but one side carbon dioxide, one side water and waste. Water and waste goes out through our stool and then carbon dioxide out in the air. That's why you got to breathe. Hello, you gotta do workouts that make you breathe hard so you can push that carbon dioxide out. Next, eat more fiber, okay? Um, introduce it in your diet a little bit at a time. My suggestion, my favorite is ground milled flaxseed. I sprinkle that on your salad, just like, it's not even a lot, you guys. It's like half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, that's it. Um, eat more fiber, don't stress. Stress will lock you up, okay? People who get on your nerves will lock you up. Yeah, you're constipated. Um, eat a protein-focused diet. So that is, um, that's like, you, when you think about what am I going to eat, you think about eating protein first, okay? So every meal you're like, okay, what's my protein going to be first? Eat good fats, avocado, nuts, um, oils. Those are good fats. Don't work out too long without eating, okay? Um, we don't want to wear ourselves out and get nothing from it. So make sure you please eat because you do need the energy to continue. Next, stretching. Um, there are some studies that show when you stretch, you actually get stronger. So if you stretch in between sets of, of stretching, I mean of lifting weights, you actually get stronger. When you're stronger, you can push more weight. When you push more weight, you can gain more muscle and really get toned like you want. Cut out preserved foods. This is going to be the key to seeing the toning you want um, so that you don't have all that water retention and also you don't have unwanted fat on top of your muscles. So anything that comes in a bag, in a, in, a, in a can sometimes, you want to cut that out. Ease yourself into a workout. Don't go too super hard because you're just going to be discouraged. Find free trials. Now, um, there are a lot of gyms who will offer you free trials a week or one day or whatever. Yo, check out those free trials, even Groupons. Check out, you don't know what you like until you try. So, Ask them for a free trial, check it out, get motivated, and that will help you get more variety in your workout. And then when you find something you absolutely love, you just stick with it. 68, don't compare yourself to others because they may be on their chapter 16, you're on your chapter one, and you can't expect to just skip chapters, right? If it takes me 15 steps to get to my car, I can't just stop, I can't just stop at 13 and think that I'm gonna get to my car you have to take the proper steps to get where you need to go. Don't compare your body to other people unless you want to get different parents, okay? So don't compare. You can be inspired, but don't, be, don't compare. Be realistic about your goals. Don't say you want to lose 100 pounds in two months. Honey, what we going to do? Just cut half your body out? So be realistic on your goals so that you don't feel like you failed. Get cute and buy yourself new workout gear. I love doing this especially when I get so slim, okay? Take a selfie. Take, I don't have a problem with taking selfies. Gym selfies, do it. I have a problem if you take a gym selfie and you don't work out, okay? So take a selfie. Take one with your friend. Um, motivate yourself and then really get it in. Get some new headphones. The worst is getting to the gym with no music. Has anybody ever experienced that? Will that or will that not completely and utterly ruin your experience, okay? Get some new headphones. Drink turmeric and cinnamon. You can get the roots from any health food store. You can get it fresh from Whole Foods. Um, you can order off the internet. You can get it dried. I do not suggest using the powder to drink unless you are a G. Look, lead a gym. Tiffany, yes, you'll lead a gym off of no headphones, honey. 
Um, but drink that turmeric. Turmeric will actually make you sweat more. It'll help your joints. It helps your circulation with the cinnamon. Um, and it's just an overall really, really good um, supplement. So drink that turmeric. Cycle your water. So when you get close to your special event, um, so you would like drink a lot of water for one day. Let's just say you drink a gallon and a half of water one day. Then you went to a gallon of water. And ew, Marcia, don't drink the powder. The root, Marcia, oh, just drink the root. Oh, Lord, I just got so depressed. Okay, cycle your water. So you would drink like a lot of water, let's just say Monday. I have a ball on Friday. I would drink a gallon and a half of water on Monday, a gallon on Tuesday, a gallon, uh, a half on Wednesday, and then I'll drink a four on Thursday. And then on Friday, I would just drink like a little bit so that I'm not thirsty. And what happens is your body will excrete the water. You know, when you drink a lot of water, you're like super pissy patty. Anybody been pissy patty before? So you drink a gallon and a half of water, you're like pissy patty, pissy patty, pissy patty. And you just keep on going, right? You just going, 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 going. But your body will continue to expel that water even when you're not drinking as much. So that means you're, you're, you, you will release more water out of your, your body. That's more inches off of under your skin. That's getting into that dress. That's looking more toned, more slim here in the neck. Okay. Detox your skin. Like I said before, in my, in my bloating and detox book, you will see how you can detox your skin and get some recipes out of that. Do a long distance run or walk once per week. Um, that will help deplete your carbohydrate stores and get you closer to burning fat. Just once. Get mentally ready. Get mentally, y'all, I skipped 77. Bless it. Um, get mentally ready for this goal. You guys, like, you can absolutely do it. Um, I have a four-week challenge coming up Monday. It is crucial, but you can do it. But you gotta get you gotta get relentless about your goals sometimes, ladies. You have to say, you know what, I need to put myself first and and, and I owe it to myself to be successful. And I'm not going to go back on this anymore. I might have to be pissed. I might have to be upset. I might have to be frustrated, but doggone it, I'm going to do it, right? At some point, you have to get mentally committed. And I want to know, are you mentally committed? If you're committed, I want to be committed with you, and I want to train you through this. And I tell you this, I don't let my clients go. And doggone it, the ones who are committed to me, they don't let me go. They don't, Anita does not let me go one moment about anything. Okay, she don't, Marcia don't give me no break. They don't give me no break, y'all. And and even if you're out of town, I want to be with you on this journey because sometimes women just don't have anybody to talk to, and then we don't have anybody to relate to. You might have a male trainer who does not understand that time of the month. They don't understand cravings. They don't understand the stress we go through. Um, they don't understand just you just wanting to talk. And you know what? Sometimes you just want somebody to just. Do you understand what I'm saying? Can you listen to me? And can you give me a specific solution to my problem? Look, I want to help you. Next, motiv motivate yourself every morning. You get, it, you get up out the bed and you say, I'm worth it, okay? I can do it. I can drink my water. I can eat right and I will have energy. I can have good sleep. I will have great relationships. I will have high self-esteem. I will reach my goals. I will lose this weight. You get up in the morning and motivate yourself, okay? Next, use essential oils. You can use essential oils to, to like just make you like pumped up, right? Peppermint is something that I use and I will tell you one of my secrets. I put two or three drops of um, peppermint oil and these are ingestible oils by Young Living. And if you, have, if you wanna know how to order them, just um, you can inbox me on Facebook or um, you can email me at dee.thomas at live.com. But I use peppermint, um, three drops in my water. So I drink like one of these every morning before I eat anything. And then I do three drops of peppermint oil. Mary will tell you I got her on peppermint tea. That peppermint tea helped her bloating to go down. Um, and it helped it helps to ease your stomach, right? So I use that. Peppermint will have you on fleek, y'all. It will have them bowels on fleek, but it, it's a good thing. Um, yes, it's great for headaches, great for motivation. I put, um, like when I'm getting ready to take my shower, put some in the bottom of your shower so that the aroma can come up. 
And then I put some in my coconut oil when I'm moisturizing myself. Um, and then I make sure I breathe in and I do like positive. I tell myself what I'm going to do in the, like for the day or think about what my goals are. And I, you know, breathe it and it just helps everything. And I also use um, an oil called RC and it, it's like a pre-workout oil that gives you energy as well. So essential oils are it, y'all. You got to get on. Um, next, create a routine. Um, it will carry over when motivation doesn't. Motivation is a feeling like sadness or happiness, like anger. You don't know when they're going to come. You hope that happiness will stay a long time. You hope that that sadness or anger will leave, that it wouldn't stay long. Um, but it's a feeling, right? No, I can't make you feel a certain way. I only can can pump you up and hope you feel a something way, a certain way. So creating a routine is key. That is something I went over in class last week. When you can create a routine that you do something same same time every day, this is what you do. That routine will take you over when motivation doesn't. Look, when Michael Jordan scored did his best game he had the flu okay scored so many points more points than he had ever done in his whole career he had the flu y'all so how in the world did he perform at a higher level than when he was well because he had developed a routine for himself and what we call in the fitness industry muscle memory where your muscles and your body remembers what to do just like fight or flight it is in your dna to get it done create that routine and don't break it routines are not based off of how you feel routines are based off of what you got to get done and you got to make this goal you guys you got to lose this weight you got to tone you got to get serious because 2017 is your year 2017 is your year and i'm pumped up about it and I'm get everybody's gonna be on board. Everybody who knows me, you have the opportunity to absolutely be on board one way or the other, in town or out of town. I'm gonna be in your face, okay? I wanna be your trainer. I wanna get your life. That's what I wanna do. All righty. Now, um, 2017 is your year. Yes, Angie. Yes, honey. Yes, okay. Now, I know that's 80 because I skipped the number, so I know I'm gonna give you some more tips eventually, um, but I just wanted to go over, we're about to do um, question and answer time, so you'll be able to come off of uh, mute. Now, I want to present you guys with something really, really cool that I've developed, and it's called Boss Bodies. It's a Boss Body Challenge. It's a, just a four week challenge, and it's a little bit different from all of my challenges. This is an extreme weight loss challenge. And I don't normally do extreme anything. I'm all about like slow and steady wins the race. But one thing I do understand is you got to hit it when you are motivated. And then some of you guys have such a small window to reach a goal, like it's for a special event, that you got to get it within 28 days, right? So the Boss Body Challenge, if you go to bit.ly slash Boss Body Challenge, you will have the opportunity to start the challenge with me. The challenge um, is super amazing. You are on, it is a diet, I will let you know. And then you have different workouts that you need to do each day and it will progress every single week. When I say you're gonna lose at least 10, 15 pounds, 20 pounds in the first month, in that first four weeks. And the cool thing is that you can cycle back onto the challenge if you wanted to do it a second time, that you could just keep doing it until you reach your goal. If you're a person who's like, super disciplined you're like i just need a plan i just need to get it so it's just a one-time fee and it's uh i think it's 49 it's either 39 or 49 off i'm gonna look back at it but um you will get the challenge book of course and then you will have check-ins on our private group and you'll really be able to get through that now this is another cool part you will be able to train with me in my exclusive group so that basically I can be your trainer wherever you are. Instead of spending 200 to 1000 3000 $5,000 because training is expensive, okay? Like training could be $100 a session for personal training, but you can literally work out at your home or work out at your gym, take my advice, ask me questions. I can give you feedback and then you can go from there, right? 
in that in that group for me, you can do one week for one dollar. You can be in the group for just one dollar. That's it. It's super cheap. After that, it's just nineteen dollars a month. You can cancel whenever you want. And I want to tell you what's really cool about this. I will put all of my books that I ever write inside of that group. You can download it whenever you want, and you will always have access, and you will never have to buy it. So, for example, my detox book, my meal prep book, my fat loss book, my cravings book, all of that is absolutely free for you as long as you stay in the challenge. And you also, I mean, in the group, and you also get discounts on the different coaching programs that I have. You get 20% off of that, and you get 20% off of merchandise as well. So if you have any questions, please email me at dee.thomasatlive.com. Make sure you like me on Facebook. I want to hear. I want to stay connected to you. Tag me in your statuses. Tag me in your selfies. I want to praise you because I feel like women don't do that enough. I'm on Instagram, The Black Philanthropist. Um, I changed the world through fitness. And then um, rockpaperfitness.net is my gym here in Mobile, Alabama. If you're here, you are definitely welcome. Um, Fly Ride Cycle is my other gym. So if you are down this way, come check out my indoor cycling spot. Um, and then this is the challenge that starts Monday, Boss Body Challenge. I want to see you in the place, just a one-time fee, and it's going to be everything. Um, and you will also see the books, like I said, is at Tone My Body 81, and um, you will be able to see all the other stuff. So uh, meal prep is in there, detoxing is in there, weight loss is in there, and um, I want to see you in the place, all right? So go ahead and um, go over to Boss, Boss Body Challenge, um, bit.ly slash Boss Body Challenge, and you can either enroll in the challenge or my mentoring group, or you can do both, right? If you are really, really, really wanting to get your life. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is stop the screen sharing right now, and we're gonna go into the question and answering portion. So, alrighty, let's go back. Alrighty, so if you have any questions, go ahead and you can come off of mute, and um, I will um, answer your questions. So if you go ahead and do that for me, that would be fantastic, fantastic. Any questions you have? No holes barred. No questions? I must have did good if you guys don't have any questions. Questions? Any questions? No? Any questions about fat loss? Any questions about toning? Any questions about food? Any questions about supplements? Any questions about water? Any questions about why I got to do that, D? Let me know. You can put that in the comments, in the chat, or you can ask the question. So I'm just opening the floor now for you. No? No? Okay, Angie says she needs help losing belly fat. All right, so I'm just going to go over that. We can help you lose belly fat. I would say that number one, download my fitness pal and start inputting your food and your exercise. Next, take um, take your before pictures in your bra and your shorts so you can see where you're looking at, what you're looking at. Because if you don't know what you're looking at, you will always look down and unless there's a six pack, you're gonna be like, I'm not, my stomach's not going down at all, okay? So you definitely, want to um do that next um your belly fat like i said is all eating pretty much you don't have to do any crunches um and really get into doing your high intensity interval training um and then not doing too much long cardio you don't do like long long like hours of running um you all if you ever see cross-country runners they're not super ripped up because they still have a layer of body fat on them so um, I, I want to help you lose that belly fat, boo. So you can, if you want to get in, in the coaching group or you want to do the four-week challenge, you know I'm going to be harassing you at Zumba anyway, okay? 
Um, Tamika wants to know how much cinnamon and turmeric. With the turmeric root, I just put like a little knob of it and then I boil it and I boil like a cinnamon stick in there as well and I boil it. So you can make as much as you want, um, but if you just put the root and the, and the cinnamon stick, you can even put it in like in a, in a bottle like this if you wanted to. My suggestion is to boil it so you can really get the nutrients out. So just a small knob and then a stick of cinnamon. Marcia wants to know how much, pro how much is too much protein? If you have a sensitivity of protein, then you need to check with your doctor. But generally, y'all, I'm about to bust your head. If you are wanting to tone, you should be eating your body weight in grams of protein. That's a lot. So if you're 200 pounds, like people who want to gain weight need to eat more than 200, right, grams of protein a day. So honestly, Marcia, I don't think any of us are going over our grams of protein. To be honest, we're not going over. Look at your My Fitness Pal and see how much is in there. Um, Tisha, it's not going to be on Facebook. It'll be a replay um, within the email, but I'll probably put it on. Um, I'll probably put it on in our group for Killer Curve, so you'll have that replay. Okay. Anybody else have questions? How I can help you? Because this is kind of pretty much how it's going to look, um, how it's going to be when we are, are in, our, in our meeting group on um, Facebook. Anybody else have questions? No problem, boo. But I can't type. OK. Well, OK, go ahead. Tamika. No, nope. okay. Anybody else have questions? I know y'all have questions. I know that was a lot of information, but I know you have questions. I'm trying to access the website. Okay, it's bit.ly, and then it's a forward slash boss, B O S S, body challenge. And I'll put that in the chat box for you. Okay, because I think that'll probably be more successful. Yeah, it keeps saying page not found. Yep, there you go. Got it? Yes. Any more questions? No, no, no. Did I overwhelm you guys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did I overwhelm you with too much information? <laughs> too much what brand of peppermint oil patricia my favorite is um young living and um i get that well i have access to young living oils i like young living because you can use it um you can use it like on your body and you can also ingest it so um there are some essential oils that are only that are only good for infusing in the air, right? There's only certain if you only essential oils that you can put in the air to purify the air, put in there, and you should not ingest it. So the ones that I use are good for infusing and all for cooking, and they're also good for like drinking and putting on your skin and stuff like that. Yeah, Anita, I know you wrote everything down. Any other questions? No, no other questions. Well, all right. Okay, you guys. So um, thank you so much for um, coming on to the webinar together or today. I really do appreciate your time. I know it's super valuable and you could have chose to be anywhere else except here, but you decided to be here with me. I hope that the information did help you and that you can take it on your fitness journey and become more healthy and um, be it be, uh, let's see. Oh, no problem, Angie. <laughs> um, and, and thank you for, for, for being here and that you can take it on your journey and be like super duper successful. And so my, um, my professional advice is always open to you. And my big suggestion would definitely be to, be to join the mentoring group. Like I said, it's just $1 for your first week and you can get your information 
And then if you're like, I don't like it, you can get, you can get yourself out. After that, it's just $19 a month. So for example, if you have a membership um, that it costs $10, $20 a month, you add that with your other $20 and you can get coached by me and you can get the same results as if you got a personal trainer. And then you get a group of people who really want to support you. Um, and then if you are wanted to do the four week challenge, we will start that on Monday. And so you can get your shopping list and everything together. Um, the app, the app for Tabata, Tabata app is called, is Tabata, T-A-B-A, -A, I'll type that in there, Tabata app. And then you have a Fit Radio app. That's the one with the music and the timer on there for you. Oh, and my fitness pal. That's the other one. That's your other one. Yes. So those are the three apps that I was talking about. Yeah. And um, make sure you grab your books as well because that detox book is key. Meal prep book is key. And those are all just digital downloads um, that you, you will want to get those. Those books are really, 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 really cool. And oh, and I also have a book about um, saving money. So it's Eat Healthy, Stay Wealthy, right? That book will show you how to eat healthy and stay wealthy. Has anybody got their book and read it? It has some stuff in there that shows you how to save money and to set up your diet so you are not broke, okay? Because I know a lot of y'all like, i I'm, I'm spending all this money on healthy food. But that book is really... Um, showing like taking you where you are with the budget you have and then um still staying on track to reach your goals but it's just another way to set up your diet and your budget it's the keys the keys and you can get that off the um tone my body bit.ly as well so bit.ly slash not tone my body bit.ly slash boss body challenge is at the end you just scroll to the bottom you can see all the books but if you if you join my um my mentoring program um, online, you would get all those books for free. So that's just one dollar for uh, yeah, Anita. That book is the keys. One dollar for that. One dollar for your first week, and then nineteen dollars a month after that. All those books are in that group. So um, I'm going to sign off. If you don't have any questions, um, be blessed. And yo, let's get it. Twenty. All summer seventeen. Okay. All spring break seventeen. Let's get it. Skinny necks, decollete, arms and legs. Let's get it, ladies. I love you guys dearly. Look for the replay in your email. Look for the link, and I got you. Have a great one. Bye, ladies.